Hi, hello, it me, how you, how do, good, great. Yes, it's been, <laughs> hi, it's, uh, it's been a long while since I've made a tutorial, and I'm sure you're looking at your screen, or you're looking at the title of this video thinking, Josh, you've already made a tutorial on how to install this gun discus on tumblr and that's very true but i was looking through old videos particularly that one and i realized i didn't show you how to install it manually so that's what the purpose of this video is without further ado let's get started first things first you'll need to log into your discus account if you don't have one you'll need to create one and you'll need to log into your tumblr as well over in my tumblr i have gotten to the edit theme then you'll come over to edit html and we'll have that already then in discus you will need to come over to your admin panel you will need to add another site thing which i have already done in prepping for this video because i I was previously trying to record this and I had done goofed. Um, so I'm going to select the one I want, come down to install discus, select Tumblr, and select install discus manually. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because of this set of instructions, because how they have it described is very wrong, and I'll get to that shortly. So if we follow their instructions, you will need to copy paste this anywhere between your head and slash head tags. There is already a setting in this particular theme. It's not going to look like how discus has it on their site, but it'll do the same thing. And if that isn't already there, then you'll need to put what discus has into your Tumblr code. Try to put it within the rest of your tags that are similar to this, and that way you kind of keep it all organize you could even try to put it in alphabetically if you want or just throw it in at the end just so you know it's right at the end and easy to find so next you will need to copy paste the next portion of code into your tumblr account now they say to put it after the slash block post which i'm going to do just to show why their instructions are wrong now that i have found the part where it's supposed to be i'm going to go ahead and put it after the slash block post i'm going to update the preview hit save Come over to my Tumblr that I'm putting the code on, refresh the page, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and find that this is where my discus code is. Also, if I haven't said already, you'll need to make sure that your discus short name is in the slot. Otherwise, what I just showed you won't work. Because I'm intelligent. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. But as you can see, it is at the bottom of all our posts, which is not where we want it. So we're going to come back over to our edit theme, la -dee -da, all the way back down. So we're going to get rid of it after the slash block posts. In this particular theme, uh, there was some old discus code. I don't know what it was uh, because in preparation for this video, I was playing around and I tried to do a recording and I done goof. Just trust me, there was different code here, but. <laughs> so we're going to replace that code with the code that we copied from our manual installation. So we're going to put it where my site previously had it if it's not that easy for you which i'm guessing for the most part it won't be where you'll have to kind of sort of figure out where you want it or where it should go um try to look at where mine is as much as possible because you might have a similar block style to kind of help you out but if it's not quite that easy for you feel free to leave some comments down below and i will try to help you as much as possible otherwise you can go to my contact page at joshualitag.tumblr.com slash contact there will be a link on, shown on the page and also in the description where you can write me a little note and submit some screenshots of your problem and I will try to do the best I can to help you out. With that being said, we're going to move on with this tutorial. I have the code copied from the manual installation right where we want it. Next, we will add the comment count. So while we are still in our theme editor, we're going to copy and paste this and put that into our theme. They say to put it immediately before the slash blog post, which you can maybe do, but it might not show up where you want it or just not show up at all. So what I'm looking for is the part in our code where it shows like how long ago you posted it and how many notes your particular post has. So I have found that section within my themes code near the block note count. I am going to put it right after the note count block and before all the little share things, which is going to be this little guy right here. For the comment count, I'm going to put it right after the note count paste. There we go. Hit update preview and you will see that there is now a comments thing. In order to make it match the rest of how it should look, there should be a slash right after the date and before the note count. So I'm going to do that with my comments count. I'm going to come right before 
the A class, the A, H, R, E, F, much like it shows here, where there's a slash just right outside the less than sign and right after the start of the block. So I'm going to do that similarly to this, put a space, a slash, and another space, hit update preview, and you will see that our page will then match the rest of the theme. So now we'll hit update preview, hit save, and then over on our test tumblr we can refresh it and see that our discus comments are gone from the bottom come over to the comments on our individual posts and you'll see that there is a comment count of zero because this blog it's a dummy site click on the comments and you'll see that our comments thing loads down below and that is how you install discus comments manually onto your tumblr so anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up you can click down below to subscribe to the respective channels and you can click over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.